lifestyle medicine is the use of lifestyle interventions directed at the treatment, management, and prevention of disease. Hey folks, Dr. Keel here, and I want to take a few minutes to discuss how to prevent dry skin, and if you're currently suffering from it, how to help get rid of it. Dry skin is known as xerosis in technical medical terminology, and as we get older, we're at increased risk of developing it. Although dry skin itself isn't going to kill you, the symptoms can be obnoxious and can potentially lead to complications if you ignore it. It can worsen fine lines, it can make wrinkles more noticeable, and it can flake, uh, itch, crack, and even bleed. So the first thing you want to do is apply a moisturizer immediately after you finish washing or showering. Ointments, creams, and lotions work by trapping existing moisture on your skin. So when you're done showering, you actually want to keep that moisture on your body. So dry off by dabbing and don't try to dry yourself off 100%. Then apply that moisturizer immediately after you're done. And it's important to remember to do this as well after washing your face and hands. The second thing is to prevent baths and showers from actually making your dry skin worse. And so you don't want to shower or bathe for too long of a period. Try to limit yourself to 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, keeping the door closed will help trap that water vapor in the shower or in the bathroom. And if you can, try not to use really hot water. Use warm water. And try to use moderate amounts of a fragrance-free cleanser while in the shower. And when you're done, again, gently dry your skin and apply the moisturizer. The third thing is use only gentle, unscented skincare products. Some skin products are obviously too harsh for dry, sensitive skin. And when your skin is dry, stop using deodorant soaps. Avoid skincare products that contain things like alcohol, fragrances, retinoids, or alpha hydroxy acid. By avoiding these products, you can actually help your skin retain its natural oils. Fourth thing is to use an ointment or a cream rather than a lotion. And they are actually more effective and less irritating than lotions. So look for a cream or an ointment that contains olive oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, some type of oil like that. And you can also look for ingredients like lactic acid, urea, hyaluronic acid, dimethicone, glycerin, lanolin, min mineral oil, and petrol atom. And remember to carry a cream with you to use after washing your hands when you're not at home. And number five, wear a lip balm. Obviously, you want to choose a lip balm that feels good on your lips. However, some healing lip balms can actually be irritating. And so if they sting or tingle after you use them, you really want to switch to one that doesn't cause that type of reaction. Uh, number six is to wear non-irritating clothes and use non-irritating laundry detergent. So clothing and detergent can definitely irritate our skin, especially if it's dry and raw and at kind of a higher risk. So avoid this by wearing cotton or silk clothing, especially under things that are more irritating or rough like wool. And when shopping for laundry detergent and fabric softeners, make sure to choose ones that are labeled hypoallergenic. Number seven is wear gloves. Our hands are at high risk for dry skin and often one of the first places you'll notice it. And wearing gloves can actually reduce the likelihood of developing that. So uh, that's important definitely during the winter when you're outdoors. Any task that gets your hand wet, such as washing dishes, and obviously using any chemicals or greases. And you may also find that wearing gloves when you go to bed will be helpful after applying a moisturizer. Uh, number eight is moisturize the air or add moisture to the air. So if the air in your bedroom or your house is dry, you're sort of fighting an uphill battle no matter whatever else you're trying to, to do. So try a humidifier, and you can also look at the heating system in your building. If it has a humidifier, make sure that it's working, and if it doesn't, you know, look into adding one. Number nine is avoid sitting too close to heating sources such as furnace, fire, etc., um, any heat source. And sitting in front of an open flame or other heat source will actually dry your skin out more. And, you know, during the winter, you're obviously going to be inclined to do that, but just try not to sit too close. It will make your dry skin worse. And if you're doing all of those things at home and your skin uh, is not getting better, you may actually need to see your physician or see a dermatologist. Uh, so, it, sometimes very dry skin can require prescription ointments and creams and can be a sign of some other skin condition that requires treatment. And a dermatologist is obviously the person who's going to look at your skin and help you decide what the best treatment is for you.